Hey, good morning. This truck, the 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 diesel. That's the most truck that I'll ever need for plowing anything that I'm doing specifically. I'm not a commercial guy. I had to have this already because my driveway to get out of the bush to the main highway is roughly two miles long. So I needed something that can push snow. I got tired of doing it with my, uh, my ATV. And at this time I wasn't doing a lot of docks and ice work and stuff. But as I grew, I needed a machine to, uh, to do all that. And I got tired of being cold. So uh, being nice and warm, plowing, being a diesel, it just purrs along or it takes whatever you can throw at it. And uh, nothing wrong with that truck. Why don't I put that plow on my, my new truck? So I've got a fifth gen Ram and I didn't buy this truck for plowing. I bought this truck for pulling. Uh, I got a mini excavator, some equipment and stuff, and, uh, you know, dump trailers, stuff like that. Haul the odd trailer full of gravel, and this thing I bought for pulling. So uh, that thing's great. I had a 2010, a fourth gen, and that did have this plow on it, and it beat the truck up something fierce. So if you're just an average guy and, uh, and you want to put a plow on a truck, my suggestion, my opinion is that uh, buy a truck that you don't mind breaking and you don't mind fixing every once in a while. Don't put it on your brand new truck. Commercial guys, they're gonna have brand new trucks. They have to be reliable and they need a truck that's reliable. So they're gonna run around in new trucks. They can write them off through their business and uh, they need those trucks for work. That's how they make their living. So they're gonna, they're gonna use those trucks for that. They're putting them to work. And plows, they are hard on your vehicles. They are very hard, especially if you have a Dodge. The Dodges, <laughs> if you're picking a vehicle, the Dodges, they're bad for front ends, terrible for wheel bearings. Uh, they have weak transmissions. The electrical sucks. Half the stuff doesn't work on this thing. But, uh, but that Cummins motor, it just keeps on going. This truck has 500 and... 502,000 kilometers on it and it starts like like the day it was new let's go start this thing this purrs very nice So to go, to go plowing for any more than uh, residential, you're going to need a three quarter ton truck minimum. Uh, a half ton truck, they just won't, first they won't carry the plow that you need to plow any kind of commercial stuff with. Uh, you can do it with a seven foot plow, but it's going to take you forever. Once you start getting into the V plows and the heavier equipment, you need a heavier truck. So uh, that's the minimum I would use is a three quarter ton. I do a lot of ice roads. I do my two mile long driveway and I do some of my neighbors too. Maintenance is a big one. These trucks do break, the plows break. These plows do require some maintenance. You'll get little stuff like, uh, you know, snapped off markers. You got a little oil leak. So it's spilling out from underneath your, your hydro. I got a little oil leak up here, which is new. That wasn't there the other day. So I got a small oil leak there. So that has to be fixed. The, uh, the hydraulic cylinders sometimes break. The springs break. The hoses, when they get to be like that, that hose is going to go anytime soon. This one here has some small cracks in it. That one's going to be needing replacing. And then uh, the plow itself take a lot of abuse so, I don't know if you can see that but that ripped at the hinge so we have to bend that back and weld it all up so you got to have some know-how so 2001 truck with a diesel it's got 502,000 kilometers on it I paid 
$4,800 for the truck. Uh, I had to do a little bit of rust repair, U-joints and stuff to get it roadworthy. But overall, I love that truck. It's it's awesome. Nine foot two Boss VXT. Uh, that thing. I don't think I met a snowbank that I couldn't push with this with this rig. So all in all, for this truck, this setup, uh, flat deck. I'm not going to include in the cost because that's for another project. So truck was 4,800. The plow I picked up used for 4,000. So I'm under, well, and plus a set of tires was 1,700 bucks. Uh, and I can plow anything I want to.